Alright, what's going on, everyone? This is From Sierra. I've seen some variation of that screen a lot here on Let's Play with Brings over the years, but usually not this creepy. This is a Lighthouse, the Dark Being. And, uh, you know, let's run the credits while we talk a bit about this game. Looks so cozy, but the music suggests otherwise. Turn this down for right now. I think I clicked out of the credits when I did that. Hold on. Let's get that up going again. All right. So I want to I want to get this right. Um, I pulled up Wikipedia because I want to get this quote right. Um, the The game is basically a missed clone. And uh, they're not even, like, shy about it. They will actively admit this game. They were trying to make a missed clone. A missed very big uh, puzzle game came out in the early to mid-90s, and Sierra wanted a piece of that sweet, sweet puzzle action. Um, so, according to Wikipedia, the game was conceived expressly as a missed clone. Lead designer John Bach later recalled that Ken Williams called me into his office one day, pulled out a copy of Mist, and said, Can you do this? I said yes, and the game went into development. That's how video games get made, people. <laughs> He acknowledged the similarity to Mist in promotional interviews for the game, but said it has some key differences. Yeah, this has a stronger focus on story, and it's like a creepy story, too. Um, I'm playing this in, I don't know when you're watching this, a wonderful viewer here on the channel, but uh, I'm playing this around October. We always do this thing called Let's Scream with Brigands, where we play creepy games. I thought this would be a very nice way to lead into that. But anyway, still have some credits here. I just love the idea of uh, Ken Williams walking into that guy. I just want him to like go and just keep going to that guy's office with different games. Can you make this? Can you make this? Just one after another, get the Sierra version of NBA Jam and Duke Nukem and Postal, I don't know. Shaq Fu, going with a copy of Shaq Fu, Ken Williams. And then six months later, I don't know, you have Kobe-nomics from Sierra. I don't know. I think missed opportunities there, but we got this game. So I'm excited about that. I'm excited to play it. And we'll see how it goes. Uh, the puzzles can be a little obtuse. We'll see, uh, we'll see how we deal with it, but I'm excited. Gotta give some love to the musicians, of course. What do they say? Red at night, sailor's delight. Yellow sky in the eve. S sky that looks like pe- I don't know. I don't know what they say. Is that a good omen or a bad omen? It might also be sunrise. I don't know. This is Oregon, I think it's said, in the Oregon coast. So that's probably more of a sunrise than a sunset, seeing as we don't see the sun, but... There you go. All the people. There you go, John Bach, who we just mentioned. And then Oliver Brelsford, just ruining the creepy intro that we just got right there, but... There you go, Mordavia, eat your heart out. In terms of creepy Sierra games. Alright, let's start a new game. Oregon Coast, 1996. I was impatiently waiting for Nintendo 64 in 1996. That's not what this guy's doing. Oh, happy little baby. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> That's all you get. All right. So here we are. That's the context. There's the lighthouse. Let's save our game. Brand new save. Let's call it Lady for now until we get a bit more context. Maybe he's at himself into an infant. Need a hint. Is this just going to like take me to a hint book? Like ad or something? Be like, yeah, all right. Drop 1995 on the official hint book. I think it's bright enough. Let's look at the picture here. 
Wild Oregon. Lovely. Got trees barely hanging on for life. Deer life, even. There's the uh, titular lighthouse. Just gotta love the creepy vibe. So we have a message. Let's play it. Hello, dear. It's, it's your mother. It um, seems like we never hear from you anymore. Well, don't worry. Your father and I are fine. And, and honey, when you get tired of living in that damp, chilly house, your room at home is still waiting for you. Oh, and oh, uh, make sure you're taking your vitamins and using that nice umbrella Aunt Selma gave you last Christmas. Mm -hmm. Okay? I love you. Mm. Bye. That's Hello. Sweet. Remember me? Your editor? You're not answering your calls, are you? I'm getting tired of talking to a machine. I thought you'd be home writing, but apparently you're not. You know, I can't send out that advance until I actually see some of that story you're working on. Call me back. Why do you sound like a villain? What's with that voice? This is Jeremiah Creek. Something has happened. Something horrible. I have to leave immediately. I don't know how long I'll be gone. A Amanda is here at the lighthouse. I don't want to leave her alone. Please come right away. If you don't hear from me soon, it will mean that I have failed. And then... Oh, God, I just can't think of that now. There is no time. I have no choice. Please. You're the only one who can help me. Come now. That's the problem. The only problem with living next to a lighthouse, well, beside from the intermittent bright-ass light that keeps you awake at night, it's just, you know, you feel obligated to do all these favors and babysit for the lighthouse keeper every now and then, but anyway. All right, let's see what we can pick up, if anything. It does look like a salt house. <laughs> a salt shaker. Salt house shaker. What do we got here? Journal. January 10th, 95. I decided to get a house on the coast for the summer. Being away from the city will give me a chance to clear my head. That's always how it starts. Everybody needs to clear their head. Get some work done on my story. So we're a writer. I've been watching the papers and I'm going to look at a place next week. I hope it'll be the right one. I'm anxious to settle in and have some time to myself. Almost a week later, the house is perfect and the rent is reasonable. I can move in at the beginning of April. There's a beautiful view of the coast. It's five miles to the nearest town. There are some other houses in the area. But the coast is rugged. And there is a sense of peaceful seclusion. Or deadly seclusion. And it's been three months later. It's been a hectic three months, but I'm here at last. I unloaded the trailer yesterday. I'm busy with the details of moving in. I took a walk by the sea this morning. The shore is mostly rocky, but there are stretches of sand and pebble beach. I found a trail to the water and enjoyed wading in the surf. This is a truly beautiful place. There is even an old lighthouse a mile or two down the coast. A few weeks later, I'm settling into a routine and I'm beginning to write. I have met a few locals in town. All right. People seem friendly but tend to keep to themselves. The weather's been cold and wet, but I'm sure it'll improve by summer. Last night I was surprised to see the light was operating at the lighthouse. It is an old place, a good place, a strong place, and I thought it was out of service. Luckily it is far enough away to not be a distraction. Hmm. Two weeks later I met the owner of the lighthouse. I was walking on the beach, came across a man out with his baby daughter. His name is Jeremiah Crick, and he is a kind of a professor, some kind of professor. He purchased and renovated the lighthouse. He seems to be a fascinating character. He repaired the light and runs it on stormy nights. Just by his own, like, does anyone asking him to? Does anyone need that? The ship's appreciated, I guess? My writing is progressing well and the weather is warmer. I go to town twice a week for supplies. I saw Dr. Crick last Friday. He was with his daughter again. He calls her Mandy, but her real name is Vanessa. It's very strange. No, her name's Amanda. He seemed glad to see me, but he was in a hurry. He could only talk for a few minutes, but I helped Mandy while he loaded his truck with bales of wire. In this isolated place, it's good to find someone to talk to. 
June 5th. Things are progressing with Mr. Crick. I woke last night to lightning and thunder. It was late, but the weather was awe-inspiring. I sat up for more than an hour and watched the storm. I think I saw St. Elmo's fire at the lighthouse. The light was on when I awoke, but went off at the peak of the storm. I saw a bluish halo around the top of the tower. It lasted a few minutes and faded away. How long does this go on for, bud? <laughs> I'm not going to read everything in this game, don't worry, but... Just part of the immersive. We're getting caught up to speed here. On my errands in town this morning, I bumped into Dr. Crick at the post office. Mandy was fussy, so we went to the diner to get her some milk. We had a good talk over our coffee, though when I asked about his work, he gathered up the baby and left in such a hurry he forgot to leave money for his tab. I'm kind of bitter about it still. Oh, I'm sorry. I was happy to pay it. However, as Dr. Crick and his daughter provided the most pleasant company I've had in weeks. Listless and uninspired, I've taken a long walk exploring tide pools and coves nearby. It's hard to believe I am uninspired in such a beautiful place. For the last week, I've been unable to write, but I know the story will come. And that brings us up to now, the first day of uh, summer, I suppose. Okay. Flowers. Wild Oregon. Not that wild. We've gotten here. My trusty smooth rock. Oh, my lighter. Sweet. Ooh. There we go. All right. Be ready the next time a power ballad kicks off. Oh, there's the umbrella that our aunt got us, right? Nothing special about it, but still good to have. Don't want to open indoors, I understand. Check this other drawer here. Keys. Handy. Got the bag. Oh, birds. Interesting. Thought we were looking at a forest for a second. Oh. Guess that was meant to happen. I thought the game was crashing already. Just in case, let's save again. Lady! I'm gonna go far with that name, I can tell. Alright. Open the umbrella here. Keys in the car. Oh, okay, that's us. <laughs> Thought we had lo were locking the door. I was like, that's the exact opposite of what I want to do. All right, let's head down to the lighthouse and see what's going on. He left us that message. Who knows how long ago it's been. Sierra presents... Lighthouse. That the full title? That's all it said on the title screen. They thought that would be enthralling enough for Sierra consumers. Don't want to overly stimulate them by adding in the dark being on the title screen or the box. I just assumed it was going to be a lighthouse simulator or something. Whoa! Okay. That's why you don't crank it to 11, Dr. Crick. Might as well go through his mail. He's got some outgoing mail, it looks like, here. What's he trying to send? It's a very rude and illegal thing to do, but whatever. Can't do anything more with it for now, I guess. Should I put it back in? Nope. It's just stuck in our pants forever. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I agree. If you can carry it around, put it in your pants, go ahead and do it. All right, let's go to the house here.
Dr. Crick? It's your neighbor lady. Got your message. Maybe we could, ooh, that's a nice shot right there. The car. I suppose we could try looking for a key under the doormat, Maniac Mansion style. Can I like walk? I don't want to like leave. Here we go. I'm gonna have to get used to the orientation here. I just want to check that. Aha! Uh -huh. All right. Variation on the doormat, but that still works. Key is a key. Endless pants pockets. Yeah, that is the beauty of a Sierra game. All right, let's see what we find inside. Guess we can we just open the door now, probably. Let's see. Uh, doing a lot of clicking. trouble with the key. Don't mind me. Harder than it looks. Alright, it must not be for this door. Let's see what else we can see. Aha! Uh -huh. There it is. Yeah, we had the wrong key. Never know when you might need a padlock. Do you want to take that? Padlock could come in handy when the dark being is wandering around. I'm not trying to close that. I'm trying to investigate what we have in here. Crowbar. All right. So I can't fix the fuse box here. No. Well, let's see if that took. <laughs> Try not to make this too frustrating for you. <laughs> I like the art style, though. It's very simple, but you know what? It's conveying what it needs to convey. Were the lights on? Didn't happen to see. Oh, they are on now. Okay, that's good. Well, I'm going to pry the hell out of this door. Well, I'm glad the lights are back on, if nothing else. Aha, there we go. Yeah, get ready for a lot of that. Am I relieving myself in that pot? Oh, we're moving the pot around. Okay, I gotcha. There's the key. All right, so variation on the doormat. All right, this has been coming for a while. Let's open this door already. Oh, thank God. There's that classic Sierra door opening sound. Doctor? This is study. Quite the collection for me to pick up, apparently. I love how the protagonists in these games always know exactly what to put into their pants. Be like, yeah, a bunch of shells, yeah, skull, I don't think so, I'm not weird. <laughs> but you know, you never know when you might need 
someone else's mail. <laughs> or that. What did we just pick up? Oh, is this like everything else in our inventory? That's handy. Ooh. I feel like we bought this in Silmaria. <laughs> you have been summoned to the Hall of Kings. I like that guy. Remember that guy that Kiko Pukinos or whatever that died on like the first day? Poor po po Pukino or whatever his name was. <laughs> I don't even know his name. Hello? Oh, not the thing I thought I wanted. Oh, that's so animated, like something we could pick up. Good luck, way. Let's try this on the letter, right? I'm just trying. Is that not a pen knife? Okay. Ew, creepy. He certainly got his taste. Kokino Pukamiso. That's that's that poor bastard's name. Thank you. What do we got here? Ooh, some sort of tissue box. <laughs> very ornate tissue box. Man takes his allergies very seriously. Oh, we can spin it around. That was the uh, Space Quest Five sound effect when you're like, you're uh, trying to decloak the ship. One of many puzzles in this game. All right, we're not ready for this clearly. Well, we'll come back to you, weird self-spinning box. I like it, though. I like it a lot. What else we got in here? Huh, fire's still going in the fireplace. She's pretty. Kind of looks like Olivia Wilde a little bit if she had like lighter hair, maybe. Maybe in high school. She was dyeing her hair. What does he got up here? Is that, a... Is that part of the kitchen? Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like a whole rack of pills, but it's spices and such. Interest lady did pick up a compass. Might come in handy later. By which I mean it will come in handy. Oh, we're just leaving that up. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? I don't know. For now. That's fine. We're not using this part of the screen for anything else right now. Use a snack. Is there going to be a head in here? Like, police... Qu Mandy? Wait, there's no Chinese restaurants around here. You make that box himself? Mandy! Where's Mandy? North American Standard Oil Tank. That's a uh, hell of a company right there. It's like she knew I was taking her milk. You in here, Mandy? What the shite? Holy! Wait, take her milk? That's irresponsible. Jump in? Whoa. This game just went off the rails pretty quickly. Hi? 
Dr. Crick, I presume. Whoa! Man, we're playing this the right time of the year, that's for sure. Wasn't expecting a jump scare so soon. That's the sound of when we're flying around on our airship in Silmaria. It's gonna be a while before we get back. All right. What do we got here? Okay, got, got one of those dealies. It's like a sweet walking cane maybe, I don't know if it's long enough. Music's comforting and creepy at the same time. It's creepfurting. Wow. Erasmus? Seems like our, our options are rather limited at this point. Wow. Got to note that we can like look up on some of these screens and down on others. Pretty good at crane games here. Is this on its rails? Okay. And is that a is that a stop right there? Yeah, yeah. Okay. going down here. I feel like we can keep going. Can we not? No? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Exit. Return to game. No! Version of this. Okay. Um, save often and save early, right? Sierra style? Where were we, Lighty? I think we were in his house still. This was pre Dark Being hopping out. I'm in my house still? That's very Antony like. Alright. Well, you know what? 
We can spend more time looking around now, and that's in some way will be uh, will be good. All right, but note to self: let's not. Do I have everything that I needed from here this time? Let's save a lot. I went through my journal. I looked at the lighthouse. I guess we got everything. All right, looked at our weird painting. All right. You don't need to go through the portal if you don't want to. Yeah, I figured. I know there's like multiple ways to do everything in this game, which I appreciate, but uh, hopefully we can find one in a lot of these scenarios. All right, but I'm an old pro at this part of the game. Don't worry about that. The game's very non-linear. Score. Looks like I know what I'm doing. Oh, well. I'm gonna set a speed record for this particular stretch. Do this. Get the old crowbar. Get the old power back on. Something like that. <laughs> Mist, also known as. What does this switch do? <laughs> oh, yeah. Too true. Another game we gotta get to eventually, but. All in good time. Didn't even try knocking this time. We got the, the douche points, if that's a thing. Please don't crash again. Let's see if that holds. Let's see if that has any effect. Alright, let's go through his things once again. Hold on. Did I not, like, pick... Hold on. Hello, wall safe. It's not Filch brand. Uh, right and left click. Okay, so we're going to need to find the combination for that. Really? That book isn't something we can pick up? It seems like it would be something we could pick up. Oh, I didn't get the letter from outside. Hold on. We need to make sure not to go into the kitchen prematurely, because we don't want to listen to that baby screaming for... Well, I guess it's still going to kidnap her. It's a sweet ride. There we go. Progress. Sydney, something urgent has arisen. I must leave immediately in the event that anything should happen to my person. Please see that Amanda receives my last will and testament. You will find it in the safe in my study. Oh, are we Sydney? Okay. 5 18 28. I'm assuming that's not a date a few years in the future from the time of my recording this, and that is the combination to said safe. 5 18 28. Thank you, Doc. A little uh, redundant, but I promise you, we want to go in there, Sydney. Promise you. <laughs> Five, eighteen, twenty-eight, and I'm gonna save because I don't trust this game. Five, eighteen, twenty-eight. Let's see. Five. 18, 28, 28, here I'm going to just spin it around a whole mess, 5, 18, No. 
It's like, you know, when you when you're when you're doing the lock down at your uh, public YMCA and what have you. Um, uh, go past the second number. <laughs> Use kid on door. All right, five. Eighteen. Is that a problem that I did that? Eighteen. Twenty-eight. Shoot! Ah! All right, hold on. Let's just give it a whole big spin. Five. Eighteen. Let's go around it all the way. All around the world. 28. Uh, right. Hold on. Let's let's do one of these. Okay. It is the money sound effect. We're betting right now. We're betting on how long it'll take me to uh, possibly beat this game. All right. Okay. Five. Eighteen. Going past zero. You like that? Oh, you love it. Give me those documents. All right, what do we got? April, April. 30, 7 a.m. Something unexpected and quite remarkable. There's the voice acting in this game. Night and peaked shortly before 5 a.m. The lightning was frequent and directly overhead. The energy cells charged quickly to maximum capacity. At 5.25, I made some adjustments to the power modulation parameters and turned on the machine. The Fresnel lens focused the massive waves of energy passing through the device. And as I had predicted, a distortion in space occurred before the device. To my amazement, the distortion began to deform. I stared in disbelief as the anomaly I had created burst like a bubble, revealing a portal in the fabric of space. Hmm. That's through what the it was. portal, I caught a glimpse of a rugged land, possibly a rocky shore, as I thought I saw water in the distance. Certainly no place around here, no place I had ever seen before. After just a few moments, a sudden power surge collapsed the energy field and blew the fuses. I don't know, glimpse of a rugged land with a rocky shore and water in the distance? That sounds like Oregon, dude. But I'll play along. Stunned by what I had seen, I sat in the dark, thinking and listening to the diminishing rain. Amanda's waking cry finally brought me to my senses. I do not understand what I have witnessed. The only explanation I can devise is that, if indeed our universe is as a single sheet of paper, then there may be other sheets or universes layered with our own. If the portal caused the space-time continuum to fold, another universe may have been crumpled up alongside of this one. I must continue my experiments in this uncharted territory and hope for enlightenment somewhere along the way. My first task will be to modify the energy consumption so that I can control the gate and increase the time it stays open. Yeah, definitely at this point I'm like, you know what, man, if I do rescue you, maybe just... Check the yellow pages and hire yourself a babysitter next time. Don't call old Sydney. Old lady. Wait. May 2nd, 9 p.m. I have had limited success modulating the power supply, and I am unsure how to stabilize the gate. An hour ago, I programmed the gate to stay open for six, six minutes. minutes. It opened, and I stepped through. The sensation was strange, but not painful. I felt a strong pulling force, as if my body was stretching like saltwater taffy. The light brightened to an intense glare. My eyes blurred with tears, distorting shapes and colors. Gradually, the pulling subsided and my vision cleared. 
I found myself standing on the rocky shore I had seen through the portal. I turned and, much to my reassurance, saw the portal still open behind me. A large body of water was just visible at the foot of a narrow path. I... I... heard the muffled roar of the surf, though I was too far away to see the waves. Bending down, I picked up a rock. It seemed solid enough. Affected by a sudden nervousness, I dropped the rock and went back through the portal. This time, the sensation was one of being pushed almost violently, and I stumbled and fell to my knees on the laboratory floor. 82496. Could be a date, it could be a code. It was just a few weeks before the Nintendo 64 came out again. I was very excited. Oh, is that it? That's all we get? That's. Is that not something? Is that just shading? That looks like a check or something. Sydney want. Alright. Fine. I'm never going to be able to get that thing open again. I hope that wasn't something I could have picked up. Right, let's make sure we get this bird again. And the shells. Which it looks like I immediately broke. Oh no, it's just multiple little shells. Definitely not going through that portal this time. Right away at least. Flip flops. I think I already grabbed the uh, pen knife. Gotta save. Lots happened. Lots happened. It's always nice to have a uh, system. Alright, let's try this one more time. So Matthew. I didn't mean to. I would like to keep trying to figure that out if possible. He's like these things I would think it would be like a situation where oh right click oh no not right click just do it in the right order Is that it? We like that? Alright, now we can start moving stuff around. Excellent. Can we spin this guy? Okay. Hmm. This could take a while. This is snack time if you're watching this. Ooh, a button! Sweet! Oh, I was digging in for like a big puzzle. Oh, what's on the other side? The end all life button. That feed Amanda button. Oh, there's so many buttons on this thing. What if it turns out this is just like the first ever fidget, not spinner, but fidget box? God, no. We need to spend so much more time with this. Oh, don't tell me this reset. I will not be happy if I have to do that again. Especially because I don't know what I did. Oh no, that's dirty. That is dirty. It was like, it wasn't that hard. It's like, there it is, oh my God. Fidget cube. Alright, I'm saving while we got the fidget cube on the screen. 
Yeah, that's fine. A lot's still happening. That that title is still accurate. All right, what is going on here? What did that do? Did that just make it so that this is a button now? Okay, hit that button. Just blind luck. That's all that was. But I have a fun little key. Okay. Anything else? We got everything we need from the box. Yeah, save before potentially dangerous things and after significant progress. I'm calling that significant progress. <laughs> Alright. We happy? Is that all we need? Oh, God. Wait, what? Something else is opening. What is this? What is this? This box is crazy. What do you got going on here? Just keep going. Pull that thing up. What are we doing? Does this key work somehow in this? What is going on with this box, people? Such a tease. What just happened? Ooh. This is when you just go home and you're like, ah, I don't want to be a writer. All right, circle, triangle, square, plus. What? What's that have to do with any of this, actually? I like PlayStation buttons. These are such 90s colors. Alright, that didn't happen before. Ooh, we're moving. Now all the green ones. All the... Uh, it seems to like it when I hit all the ones of a certain color. Yahtzee! They probably dumbed it down after I struggled on that last one. They're like, just give it to him. Send him through the portal and get this guy out of here. 
Crowbar. Well, we've got the save game for it now. What's going on with this thing? Yeah. Do I have anything that'll fit? All right. Guess we'll come back. Remember, Way said we wouldn't have something we would need for this part yet. Basically. Okay, I forgot there were other rooms. I forgot that my life existed outside of that damn slide puzzle. Ugh. Can't go any further. Thank you, I appreciate that. I won't... Yeah. What was that painting? No. No. No kitchen. Uh... There was one more combo in here, right? I said it might. Eight twenty four ninety six. Sweet. All right. Getting my mojo back, one puzzle at a time. Even when they're super simple. Uh, fun. That's the Mandy's being bad cage. Just throw her in there. Ooh, what the hell is this? What? <laughs> wow, he's like a tie-dye guy or something. Power surge detected. System shutdown successful. Reset system to continue. Sure. Do it. Ah. So much for that. fun. Just fun pushing stuff, isn't it? Okay. Probably not willy-nilly. If we can turn on the main power, yeah. Huh, there's the uh, little hatch with the lighthouse there. Whoa. Okay. Ooh, is that in our inventory now? What? Just took that off, I guess. Oh, are we picking things up? Where are these things going? Sydney. Maybe we just need to replace those with a fresh tube and wire bit right there. Okay, I'm on it. Sydney, the writer, knows all about whatever the hell this technology is. May 25, 6 p.m. Perhaps I have been unwise in allowing the creature frequent access to my laboratory. Our mutual curiosity seemed reason enough at the time, but now I am uncertain. Since his first appearance, the creature has been waiting for me every time I activate the portal into his world. That's cute. He'd watch me work or study the equipment, but he never touched anything or interfered in any way. I must have become accustomed to his presence because today, after opening the gate and watching the creature cross over, I focused my attention on my work. When I looked up from the computer, he was gone. Upon examining my equipment, I discovered that a power modulation tube was missing. Although the tubes yep. are expensive, That's it. I have several spares, so the loss is not too serious. I am concerned the creature's motivation may go beyond mere curiosity. I'll say. Though his action does not necessitate curtailment of my experiments, I will restrict his access to my laboratory. And I'm going to go ahead and say he didn't take it very well. May 27, 3 a.m. 
I have built a cage around the portal Must be so that day. the creature cannot wander freely about the lab. When oh. I opened the portal earlier this evening, he was not waiting on the other side. No doubt he realized that I must have learned of his thievery and hesitated to show himself again. I pretended to be absorbed in my work. After a few minutes, I caught a peripheral glimpse of a shadow crossing the portal into the cage. I turned toward him. The creature did not appear disturbed by the cage. He crouched on his haunches and stared at me without expression. Though I felt uneasy, I forced myself back to work. The minutes passed slowly. Finally, it was time to shut off the power to the gate. When I reached for the switch, the creature leapt across the portal. Obviously, he understands some of what I do and knew his escape route was threatened. We have been unable to communicate, but I am beginning to think there may be deeper, more devious aspects to his intelligence. June 14, 2 p.m. It has been over a week since I last saw the creature. He has returned less often since I built the cage over the portal. I think he is I a girlfriend. I am continuing my work to stabilize the energy field. Thus far, without success. Now that I am not constantly watched by the creature, I have a revitalized energy enabling me to work straight through most nights. The lack of sleep makes me irritable, a mood that must be contagious as Mandy is unusually ill-tempered as well. I'm sure our new neighbor must think us both a bit peculiar, Yeah. Though our infrequent exchanges have been pleasant enough. Since Diana's death, oh. I have had little interest in such things as friends. Perhaps that is not entirely healthy, though now I have no time for such thoughts. I digress, probably due to my long hours. Hopefully, soon I will have results to show for my labors. It's nice everyone keeps such detailed diaries in these games. July 7, July 7. 11 p.m. A breakthrough. I added a new parameter which eliminated the instability factor. The equation now allows for the possibility of a permanent gateway, stable for an indefinite period of time. I am feeling ill, and I am afraid my lack of sleep is clouding my judgment. The final modifications on the equipment must keep until tomorrow morning. Yeah, slide puzzles make me irritable. July 7, 2 a.m. My worst fears have come true. <gasps> the dark being has somehow copied my device and has <gasps> created its own portal between the worlds. I am making money off of it, franchising those things. The snap of the portal closing. That thing has been in my lab. It has stolen more equipment and, to my horror, my Damn. blueprints for the gate device. I am such a fool. I am preparing to follow it through. I will only have an hour before the gate closes, and I do not know where the creature has gone. I have been so blind, doing nothing while it has schemed to steal my invention. I must stop it. I must destroy its gateway into our world. Oh, dear God, let me be in time. You know, Professor, I don't want to nitpick, but it, apostrophe S, would be more of a possessive. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, yeah, let's get, uh, let's, let's figure things out here. Anything else? Get some coil. What did we just pick up? A little soldering. Screwdriver, pencil, don't need that. Nope, we're gonna need a soldering iron. All right, so we got the tube, that's good. Can we get some wire? I need some wire. That looks like wire to me. All right. Not the wire I thought I picked up. Anything else? Just love it. I know what I need. Don't worry about that. In this case, we do need these two things. That goes there. It goes there. All right, hold on. This goes here. And this goes here. And then we go shoink and shoink. Look at us. We're scientists. So we're not a writer. All right, we good? I don't know if I want to go up there. We need to save. It's been way too long. 
been too long. Okay. Is this computer good now? Maybe we should go check the breaker box outside. That might have done something, actually. Okay. Open her up. Let's see. One, two. We good to go now? I don't know, it stayed on this time. I guess we're good. <laughs> Dark being open. Did you figure out the slide puzzle? Sounds like an orc. I hear something's on, though. I hear power. On buttons work now. I'm going back to significant progress. Work, damn you. <laughs> really? Is that all I had to do before? I'm gonna assume the power had something to do with it. Yes! Things! Cause she'll work. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? That seems like a thing. I'm happy with that thing. Try that baby open. I mean, a bit more. Yeah, don't half speed this, Sydney. What are you doing? Oh, look! Look at all the jello molds he's got. I should have brought him one. That would have been neighborly. Wait a minute, he was here first. He should be bringing me jello molds. What is this thing? Is that a bong? Why does he have three? He doesn't have a lot of company here. Is that a bong? Understood. Oh, you'll get proof. I will... I will beat that slide puzzle. Uh, I have to smack it with your crowbar that you... Okay, I was going to say that you got rid of. You're not doing it right if that didn't come off. Just smack at it like you're taking the piss, man. Come on. That will work if you know what you're doing. Oh. Oh, it did work. Alright, I don't know. Are we like on a time uh, stopwatch time clock? <laughs> stopwatch time clock. Very, uh. Okay. Yes! Put a freshy. Fresh one in. I don't know. Whoa. No, definitely leave that plugged in. Whoa. All right, we're scientists. Ooh, that's a nice view. Hold on. How could you be so bummed, Mandy, when you got this sweet view? Oh, my God. But if you saw, like, a massive rogue wave just coming at you, that'd be... Terrifying. Rogue way. Very stream of consciousness, these safe states. All right, computer, you good to go?
Ouais. Whoa. What else are we missing at this point? We've done so many things. No! My god, put that back. Wait, do we like that? Where's the computer now? No, I think we like that like that. Hey, she cried herself out. That's nice. Uh, is the computer meant to do anything? Are we just supposed to pop through that portal now? That looks all kinds of juicy and working. Yeah, that looks good. I don't know why that computer has got to bug up its uh, circuitry. Grab one more for the road. Yeah, I might need one in Bizarro World. You never know. Huh? Wait, how did that... It's weird. How did that become unplugged? Power surge detected. Done everything though, everything ever. Oh, that's why that became unplugged because I brought it back down here last time. It's definitely like make up your mind. All right, we gotta plug it back in again. Not a huge fan of the way we get around in this game. Is that, uh, is that apparent? Plug it back in. And it's got a dealie. Is, do I need another fresh dealie, maybe? It's still all kinds of lit up. I don't get it. Alright, so it's plugged in. It's got its bong we have a nice view oh my god I did the soldering else? Yeah, I don't know why the computer's still giving me grief. Power surge. I need to go back outside. Try messing with those things again. our lights we go inside when it's dark and extra spooky oh we can't go anywhere man I wanted to see the creature in the dark the dark being in the dark pop, pop, pop. I wish that guy was here right now drunk witness from police quest 4 to make some sense of all this like I heard the machine and went zap, zap, zap.
Ah, there's one more thing. Hold on. Yep. You can't not hit that thing. What are you, stupid, Tony? <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> All right. Try it now, you stupid. Tie-dye computer. Power modulator not responding. I might have to like go plug it in again or something at this point. Zap, zap, zap. Hold on. Old Sydney's gonna get right on that. Once he can find his way around the room for the thousandth time. Gig of RAM, not bad. Hey, this doctor's not messing around. They were probably, yeah, you can see it's unplugged again. They were probably like, let's come up with some nonsensical, ridiculous, might as well be infinity amount of RAM that no one will ever need to make it seem all future-y. Oh, so satisfied to finally do whatever this did. Yes! Hell yeah, let's do it. What? Yeah. Did you not trigger after everything I just did? Unless you couldn't find the keyboard again. Why? Why ES? It has tripled my productivity, Marge. Big lever. Is that creature gonna show up again? Alright. Should I stay or should I portal? Here we go. We're better prepared this time to be here on the beach. And now we can get back. Oh, what a luxury. Alright, hold on. Before we do all that, I want to go back. Not there. Man, it's rough getting around here. Can we pick up the rocks? We're picking up rocks! Can we get our throwing up? How do we get to the pier? There we go. I understand I can get that. Those rocks, I can't get these rocks. And I think I picked up that one time. There we go, that sweet key, that's how we get inside. Awesome. Oh yeah, we didn't see, we didn't like feed the baby this time. Mm, that's weird, oh well. More rocks. Nothing else we can uh, pit those two giant robots against one another. Oh wait, Space Quest 6. So I'm just curious, actually. Let's save here. What was like our old game? Has it been auto I don't even think it's been auto-saving. Has it been auto-saving? So we head back in. What happens if we go to the kitchen now? Okay, she's already gone. All right. May 11, 3 p.m. 
Today, I opened the gate and was about to begin modifications when a figure suddenly appeared on the other side. It was bipedal and roughly shaped and sized like a man, though impossibly thin, with long limbs. I, I was startled and prepared to shut down the device, but the creature made no move toward me, just peered curiously, first at the portal and then at myself. Its eyes were small and intelligent, almost mischievous, but there was no malice in them. We stared at each other for as long as a minute. Till we then fell in it love. turned and loped out of my view. This visitation confirms a growing suspicion that I have discovered some kind of parallel universe, for the creature is of a species not to be found upon this earth. <laughs> growing suspicion that... Yeah, I think we're in some kind of parallel universe. May 19, 11 a.m. Today... The creature returned. Kind of going out of order he here. the portal cautiously. It's a little anticlimactic it, then reached now, out since with we know a what's going to happen. Black and gnarled as a burnt twig. Testing the limits of his boldness, I beckoned him to come over. In a single bound, the creature was through the portal. He crouched before me, looking like nothing so much as a giant spider. I noticed strange geometric tattoos on his chest and upper arms. I watched him Maybe did carefully time. for the duration of his visit, but all he did was peer inquisitively at the equipment. Twice, when a particular device caught his interest, he glanced at me, as if asking a question. His behavior almost made me laugh, as his furrowed black brow and tapering fingers made me think of a monkey exploring a new cage. It's a good monkey, a soft monkey. When Whoa. the energy levels approached Man, instability, I coughed once to get the creature's attention and pointed to the portal. Apparently understanding my meaning, he took one last look around the laboratory, then went to the portal and stepped through. I just had time to see him safely on the other side before the power supply collapsed and the lights went out. All right, more journal pages. Alarm clock. Can't look at those pictures. All right. I guess we got everything. Is again. Grab the uh, compass again, I suppose. If we call for help, what would we say, even? Frederick Edwin Church. Gallery of Art. Yep, saw that last time. April 12, 8 a.m. In unpacking a recent shipment of books from the university, I came across an arcane work entitled The Godel Universe. Browsing through it idly, I was surprised to discover a theory about the space-time continuum that today's theoretical physicists have either forgotten or ignored. Like Doc Brown, theory amateur. is based on a group of motions of Bianchi Type 8, in which the invariant varieties for the motions are three-dimensional hypersurfaces containing null and time-like lines, i.e. the orthogonals to these hypersurfaces are space-like. However, the Gödel universe admits a four-parameter group in which the Bianchi type 8 is an invariant subgroup. Thus, revealing a universe both homogeneous and stationary. 
This stationary characteristic makes the model unsuitable for our representation of the universe as we know it. Godel's hypothesis ends there, but I think it may apply to my own research on distortions in space. If our universe may be compared to a single sheet of paper, then with the proper bending of that sheet, any two points in space, no matter what, the linear distance between them may be brought into proximity, enabling instantaneous travel over distances of many light years. My theory that electricity focused through a Fresnel lens would create just such a proximity point is supported by Godel's model. I will incorporate it into future calculations. Oops, missed 49. Hold on. Wait, go back. 49. April 29, 11 p.m. I have yeah, modified that time, the right. algorithm to include Godel's theory and focus the Fresnel lens accordingly. The storm is supposed to move in sometime after midnight. I will wait up for it, though these late nights are taking their toll. Hopefully this storm will be intense and the lightning rod will attract the bolt. If the power modulation Otherwise, can Marty McFly can never get back energy, to 1985. It should regulate the flow through the Fresnel lens, which in turn will focus it directly into my device. Maybe this time I will get some conclusive results. He needs to get back and take Jennifer to the lake with the truck that Biff finished detailing. Don't take money. Well, if we see baby Amanda, we'll have her milk. And I guess that's that. Anything else? I guess that's everything. All right. All right, let's head back to the uh, portal, shall we? Back through the portal, I should say. Good. Oh, retry. <sighs> what now? That thing's working. Did it come unplugged again? Doesn't look like it. That seems to be okay. We're plugged in. What's the issue? The milk? We have a fresh one of these. Do we need it? No. We can move things around. Thought I could go in and out of here on demand. I'll give you two of those. And where's that? Uh... Still doing its thing.
highlight cursor. Yes. What did that do? Oh, but if, if there's like something we could do on screen, that's that's a good point. Stan, everything else is as it was before. What is the issue now? Modulator not found. The lens? What? I didn't do anything different that time. Alright, whatever. The Simpsons are going back through the portal. I may have replaced, I guess I did replace the thing, even though it seemed fine. But there's a finite number of those. Maybe I shouldn't keep going in and out. Hmm, that could be a problem. All right, well, let's, uh, glurp. All right, finally, let's go back to the place that crashed the game last time. Wait, no, no, <laughs> gotta stop doing that. There she is. Put my fancy smancy tool in there. All right, this thing. This is what crashed the game. Right here. <sighs> no way that would reset. Now where I meant to like take this thing. I only have one green bottle left. That'd be pretty beat if I lost on account of not having enough green bottles. There we go. Didn't crash that time. I think that's the, the final objective is finding the uh, pepper shaker that goes with this whole salt shaker. All right. Cool. Lovely. This is very mist-like right here. Got a green door. That's definitely one of those robots from uh, Space Quest 6 inside Stellar Santiago. Good thing we got those rocks. Hello? Like birds? Alright, I don't know what's going on with that. Ooh, nice little wind chime. You can see the dark being has a. Uh, make sure my clock is right. Yeah. Not the point. It's like you cheated at that slide puzzle of me. You're a douche. Hi. Little, little robo parrot. Want to 
Check out what I got. There you go. Wanna play with this? Huh? Oh my god. <laughs> First death. <laughs> Like how that was handled. And you're dead. Just throw some red on the screen. You're gonna die! That's awesome. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to do that that time. Alright, I know you want something. You don't want the bird? Some milk. Directions. Seems chill. Cave down there. Sup? Oh, alright. Well, that's. I guess that's uh, one way of saying you don't want any company. Throw a rock at you. Oh, wow. It totally worked. And that's like the exact same kind of animation. I'll throw another one. Don't ignore me. I have more rocks. How many? I have one more rock. It's wasted all my rocks on this stupid bird like robot. Alright, that is one chill bird robot. It's like a Bond villain's hideout. No, Mr. Bond, I expect you to get stumped on this slide puzzle. Rusted. Mm, we're gonna need something. Yeah, this is... This is straight out of a... Uh, Whatever the tenth movie was. Probably need something to hold it there. Oh no, we're just good. Oh no, yeah, we need something. Don't wanna go to the Spy who loved me. That's what it was. Yeah. Wait, where is... Where's my crowbar? Where's, like, a lot of my stuff, actually? Am I missing part of my inventory? Thank you. Cool. Wow. There's a lot going on here. You're not sure what it is, but you bet it would look real cool spewing through the propellers.
Uh, that's probably once we've left the dock. like something I bought from Natural Wonders when I was a kid. It's probably necessary for... Alright, and away we go. How are we now? Wow. Where is uh, the manual for this thing? Looks like a sad face. That was me during the slide puzzle. <laughs> All right. <laughs> We didn't go anywhere. We're still right here. Oh well. Looks like a screen from Area 51. those to weigh this down. Alright, so that's back before we did this. Alright, well let's head back to... that last time, I guess. Pick up infinite rocks on the beach. Alright, good luck. I guess my, uh... crowbar just broke when I used it to get that padlock off. That doesn't make any sense, though this got going on. Oh, can we take the thing out of this? I see. And use it with the... I'm glad this thing's not collapsing on us anymore. And we can use this with the... Uh, the other toy we have, presumably. Alright, this is a good safe spot right here. Well, yeah, yeah, I know I have the rocks now. I'm a little curious. About the rocks here. No. Okay. Whatever. Alright, so let's try this. got something for you this time. Found the key to this bird toy. There we go.
No? Alright, we cool? I like we just threw away the toy after we were after we found the key for the bird. We're like done. Oh, and the clock. All right. And now if we. That's all I needed, apparently. It's like, oh, I didn't know this territory was claimed. Progress! What's up, man? Uh... Can we... Whoa! Ew! Sorry. I guess the apology wasn't necessary there. Okay. Well, anyway. We got that. That might be what we needed for that cube earlier. Way it was talking to us about it. Birdman has gone insane. He will no longer obey me. Oh, that's the guy. Corrupted by the dark being. I should not have let it into the tower. I thought that said future. I think it has discovered our plan. I'll send a hawk to warn the priests. I've given the crystal bottle to the doctor from the other world. I trust him, and the creature will not think to look there. Interesting. Like how he knows which ones to select. I am trapped here by my own creation. He will not let me leave the tower. Oh, that's... That's the guy whose head just came off. That's who this is. That's sad. I hear him flapping outside. I don't know how long I can keep him out. I'm exhausted and running out of food. The priests have not arrived or responded to my messages. <laughs> Poor guy waited so long for me to figure out that slide puzzle. That's right. I have met a man from another world, he says. It's like ours, but in a different time. Maybe another plane of existence. My studies have taught me these things can be possible. But he may also just be mad. We talked for a brief time in the tower. He's an inventor like myself. I was curious to know more. But he grew nervous and anxious to leave. I gave him the golden sparrow in case he wants to return. Is that the thing I just put in the clock? Huh. It's weird to like be able to like pick up something and not do anything with it. Like put that in your pack. No? Okay. Turn around, that ain't faster! Hey, buddy. Your master's dead. What you doing? Oh, you want to put that... Oh, okay, he's looking for something. Oh, no, you don't want to use that. You don't want to... What? Bye. <laughs> the shite. What the hell was that about? Could I have done something differently with the Galorp save? That was crazy. <laughs> How's this dude know English? Question of the day. <laughs> ha! Suck it! <laughs> That's embarrassing. It's funny how he came up really fast that time. 
but anyway. Alright, we kept out Birdman. So we can grab whatever he wants. What do you want, that hammer or something? He pulled it out of this thing. Wait, he just like grabbed it with no... ...issue, and yet I'm like, eh. <laughs> I thought he grabbed it from there, was it not right there? He did take something from the desk. I don't want to look at those again. Hopefully it's not necessary. What is the deal with rearranging these... ...things? Ah, okay. Nice! That's not what he took, though. Wait, did he just... He opened it up! Stop it! Stop it, little bird, man. Hi. <laughs> He's like, douche. All right, I'm going to see wh what he grabs. Or more importantly, where he grabs it from. Did he get it from that middle desk drawer? Don't say hi. <laughs> Just love that jump. <laughs> Fantastic. Did he pull it from here? I think he did. Alright, we gotta take it faster next time. Do I have the key? I don't have any keys. Where is the key? Reload and lock the door. Where's the key? That's not a key, is it? Is that a key? I don't think that's a key. Is that what that key was for? Did I not get the key from the... Yeah, where the hell? I don't think my saves are that out of order. Granted, there's no, like, consistency in, like, how I'm writing these, but... Alright, hold on. Let's go back to Glorp. I can get back there very quickly, thankfully. Everything's, like, ten screens apart from each other. Don't need that, but I'll leave it up. Is my portal gone? It really doesn't. It really doesn't last that long. That's kind of a problem if I keep wanting to, like, go back and forth between the worlds, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it was right there. Yeah, it doesn't seem to want to talk to me. Come on out! <laughs> we just have to wait and watch. I don't... I definitely don't want a new game. in the thing. You can see how you might need a walkthrough for this game. Get the clock. Put more stuff in the inventory. Get the milk. Seriously though, I just feel like I'm going insane. Like I'm missing things from my... There's that. So I definitely... Did I not get the key from this thing to begin with?
Okay. It's there. So where's the key for that damn window then? Window slash door. Got the tool you wanted, you stupid Bert. Uh. <laughs> Is he gonna murder me now because I took his special little tool? <laughs> Get out of here, you douche. Ah! All right, so it didn't matter. We just grabbed it first. Cool. Yeah, I can't even, like, pick anything. Wait. What? Okay, never mind. So we're not, like, taking anything out, but we are kind of, like, moving stuff around. All right, so I got that. Kashoink, kashoink, whatever that thing is, so... I don't know, I did feel kind of bad for that bird. Uh... Yeah, I don't know what the point of that is. Creepy, that's like a personality inkblot test or something. And there you go, little schematics for the uh, the bird, get some rough sketches. Hello! Ah, is this the key for the gate that we don't need anymore? No. He is in the bottom right drawer, this little drawer. Man, I hate whatever the system is supposed to be. It's just awful. Anything even in this one that I need? What? Oh, okay. Man, I'm gonna be a dungeon master by the time this game's over. Thousand keys. There it is. Definitely wouldn't be able to rifle through that desk in time to stop the bird. We just took what we wanted. All right, so I found that key. Oh, I need to like move this stuff out of the way so we can grab whatever this thing is. We did this that one time. And it was successful, I think. Okay. Whole lot of drawers in this desk. Whole lot of drawers. And I got whatever was in there and I looked at all those papers. All right, this is the key for this one. There we go. What is that? Uh, it's like brass knuckles slash pan flute. <laughs> when you want to throw down and make some lovely music, Peruvian music there. I don't know what that is. Whoa. Oh, wow. This is how lost I am in this game on a scale of one to whatever that is. Ah, we can do different sounds. There's your 
once a once once in a channel hearing test from Let's Play with Briggins. We don't do those a lot. Do I get that key back, or does it not matter? All right. Have we exhausted? Everything. Sorry, again. But we got that. So, once we get back to our normal reality... I'm just like, I don't know, we need that one piece to keep firing up the portal, and I'm a little concerned that we're not going to have any left. A little concerned. Is there nothing with the bed or anything? Change. Dude, give it a rest. Was there anything out there for me to look at? All oh, right, yeah, it does light up when you have something interactive. Good call, that's helpful. lit up there. Wait. Nothing interactive here for me to do. Oh. Special screen. Need something for this. throw everything in my inventory at this. Alright, let's get out of here. I'm going to assume we don't need to go out and talk to that bird man. Let's go see bird man. I don't know, maybe we got some something to mess with him now. Mm, Sim City 2000. Love Sim City 2000. Alright, so we have the cave down to the uh, Bond villain's lair. He's like, you lock me out of my room, I'm gonna, or your room, I'm gonna lock you out of mine. Alright. So we can throw rocks at him, but I'm gonna save. And apparently we can get more rocks, but I like my rocks. So hit the bird, man. Ah, good luck. I'm coming in. That's right, you've proven that you're not a threat. <laughs> you smell funny. I don't like humans. That's his move. Alright, I'm going to lock you out of this room too. Just gonna make you super bummed. You have access to nothing. <laughs> I don't know, we just literally just came to this dimension to make that bird man's life a living hell. And I'm here for it. What are you gonna do? Look at me through the bars? Stupid. Oh, I should probably put that down now. No? You don't wanna turn that? It's an angie bird man. Lots of tools. Definitely pick that up. And that. What about the ice cream scooper? No? 
You don't want the alternate dimension ice cream scooper? <laughs> Access denied, Birdman. <laughs> Alright, we got these tools. The ones that Sydney, the writer, the novelist, decided would be of use in this alternate dimension. Can I at least get my speed stick and a wallet first? No, Birdman. Ooh, Birdman, what were you into? Some kinky stuff. Just, let me just flap around looking at us. That's all you can do. Sad little Birdman. or anything. Alright, did someone say this was useful upstairs? Obviously I'm here right now, Birdman. Figure out something else to do with yourself. Showing no. I need batteries for this thing. This. Oh, that's a workbench. I thought it was a torture device. All right. This sucker. Turn this thing around or uh... there we go, that's what I'm looking for. He had to start putting some parts in. You're a novelist. Done. And just throw it away. That seems good. <laughs> okay. Need any other parts or are we good to go? Oh. And then we can put like a replacement part in. We get that piece out. Whatever was busted. There we go. Now we can control us some ladders. Good luck. But not not this way. Back up this way. Attack! Ooh, that's gonna be fun. Set phasers to stun. Ladder, attack, and patrol. Activate. All right, so ladder and activate. There we go. Counter to attack and activate. Try stepping to me now, Birdman. Hold on. Don't. Where's Birdman? There he is. Attack. Do it. Kill him. No? Alright, whatever, I'm going up the ladder. Okay. Always good to have one of those. Let me tell you, 
another ladder. Too easy. Love having all these random parts. Someone said I controlled the ladder. No birds. to have these things on my side at some point. Alright, so this is where they hang out. More burbs! Not the killing kind. Not right now. Not when they're off duty. Do do the birds. Can I get the birds to patrol? Let's just control them. Patrol, my beauties! Precious. No, okay. Can I wind you up? No. Maybe if I just focus on one of them, this will work? Gears. Oh, that looks like it needed gears. Do you need gears? Looks like it needs two gears. The very two that I have in my pants. Just had to get on the right screen. There we go. Cranky, cranky. Sweet. Now I guess we just need a reason to crank. Big room. Misleading. Scissors. Don't need the scissors. Take your word for it, but we do need this. go along with all this fun inventory stuff still got that umbrella for my aunt that's handy yeah the gears aren't connected to anything too right Do all my cranking. That's not even where I was trying to put that, but I'll take it. Sweet. Ah. Ah. Now I bet we can crank with uh, purpose. Cranking with a purpose. That's not nearly as satisfying. We good? We need to save. Cranking. Yeah, look at 
bad or something. To a shining time station where dreams can come true. Do we need any parts in this uh, this here beast? Right. Let's, let's go. Shining time station. Come on. Crank it better. That was cranking the wrong direction. What the hell was that sound? You can crank it too much. Sounds so wrong. So that's... So I went too far. 11, 12, 13, 14. That was like roughly 12 times, something like that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. To a shining time station where dreams can come true. What? The, come on, man. I want to fly. I was really close. Yeah, that looks pretty good right there. We're in the blue. I think we're good. Release! Hell yeah! Alright, new area. I call this new area. Getting there. Probably can't get back, can we? Oh, we can get back. We lost our juice. We had enough to get there and then get back. That's fine. Just good to know where we stand. Cool. Elevator? Sweet. Calming music right here. Calming music. How many saves do I get? Another person? And they're alive? Their head's not gonna come off if I touch them? Hi! I am Lero, guardian and sacred ward of the temple. You are a stranger here. can't ask me a thousand questions, one at a time. I'm a novelist, I'm really bad at slide puzzles, and I do have shells. Thank, thank you, stranger. The priests used to bring me presents like these. Sometimes I make Jesus. things to pass the time. These will be perfect. I'm gonna have to avoid calm for you, I think. I have a suspicion you might be a replicant. Wise to the old ways, the priests burnt night candles, uncovering secrets long, long lost in the fall. Quiet as mice, they 
devised a device. Some something to stop it for once and for all. Look to the skies. The volcano is burning. Who is this creature that sullies the waters? Why has he come with the ways of the past? Man, if you love shells, you're gonna love rocks. That's interesting. What is it for? Chucking at Birdman Robot, obviously, and getting the last laugh. That's interesting. All right. Thank, thank you, stranger. Wait, I don't want to give you the everything. Used to bring me presents like these sometimes. That's interesting. Attack! Oh, it's not for you. Don't want to give her, like, everything. I'll give her the pebbles. I mean, the shells. But I don't want to give her all my nuts and bolts if I don't have to. What? What are you doing this time? I could really go for the love theme from Blade Runner right now. I am Lyral, guardian. Vangelis. And sacred ward of the... Yeah, shut up and take my shells. Thank... Thank you, stranger. Oh, give her everything? Okay. All those Quest for Glory 5 sound effects before it, they were in the, before that was the thing. The wise and holy gathered here, machines of metal cast. They study that which came before to learn to learn from errors past. Look to the skies. The volcano is burning. Who is this creature that sullies the waters? Why has he come with the ways of the past? I am alone here. It has been a long, long time since anyone has come. Tell me, have you seen the temple priests? Uh, is that one of the people I took the head off of? I see you have not. No, no. Shells for little, little Lero. I just gave you like four shells. I fear something bad has happened. We're going in circles now. How do I make her... Okay. Let's see what else we got. What other rooms have we got? Interesting. Surprised we haven't had that save game yet. Chimey, chimey. Whoa! All right. Weird. Sweet. Keep going. Get both these right down the center we're close enough it's like a giant uh, one of those 
those uh, dipping water birds. Oh, I guess I... that's where that needs to go, right? Is that... Is that good? Needs to go around, obviously. Wait, what? What did I just? Okay. <laughs> yes. What do we get? Ooh, a CD. They had cutting-edge technology in this realm as well. That's cool. Yeah, I'm done with you. Got up here. Another sort of similar to what we had downstairs. I wonder if we like need to leave that open to get access to this. connected at all, I don't know. Let's just get this thing stuck down where it was. Oh, it just sort of closes when you leave. Alright, never mind. Fine. It's like, you don't want to play with me? You don't want to touch my eyeballs and wind chimes? And you can just sod right off. Alright, there was one more room. I'm going to stick with interesting. I think that fits the bill. Cool. This looks like a the sauna, the relaxation room, maybe. Or some sort of jet stream scene or something. You know. I almost feel like I'm on that planet in the dig a little bit with the music. Hold up. They want to stay in here for now. Oh no! Her again? You are not of this land to understand what uh, has has happened here. You must first learn our history. I mean, just take some rocks and leave me alone. Learn your history? Okay. Let's do it. Hook it up. Tell me something. I feel like I'm missing a screen in this room. I just can't seem to find it. Should I go upstairs? You are not of this land. You are not of this land. That's what she's saying. I I use those those controls to move about. Please don't hinder me. Uh, Them. Okay. Put the CD on the blue table. All right, I wouldn't have gotten that. I'll take it. Oh, I didn't know it was that big. I thought it was like a conventional Earth CD. Now I can tell the stories. Good luck. <laughs> it's just you. I am Lyra, guardian and sacred ward of the Temple of Ancient Machines. I came here when I was four years old. There was an accident. The priests put me in the machine to save my life. Huh. It is my heartbeat, my breath, and my blood. 
I have been trained in the art of story, the remembrance of things past. Listen and learn our history. A long time ago, a powerful people ruled this world. They were masters of machines. There was nothing they could not build in their factories. No obstacle nature put in their path could defeat them. But their blind desire for progress became their doom. The world became polluted. The animals died and the ocean stank. The sky became yellow. The sun shone through a sickly haze. Finally, the land itself died. All but the strongest and most isolated perished. Disease and famine consumed them. Those who remained lived only to survive and the old ways were lost. Many died during this dark age, but a new philosophy was born. Holy men gathered together and built this temple. These priests, realizing the air of past ways, sought to integrate the ways of nature in the resurrection to foster rather than exploit. This acorn of thought took root and grew a philosophy of life which spread its branches over every aspect of the new time. This temple is a storehouse for what little remains of the old technology, a sacred place in which to carefully study the remnants of dead age. It is hoped that with wisdom and caution, some of the ancient ways might be incorporated into the technology of today. The priests scoured the land and brought the old machines here. Generations pass, with guidance from the temple, the people develop natural sources of energy. Slowly the land recovered, and the people regained their sense of purpose. Life improved, balanced and carefully maintained harmony with nature. It's nice. Well, that was, that was great, Lyra. That was me my voice. That was how life used to be. Alright, well I know about your people now. Is that, are we buds? Should I put this massive laser disc back in my pants? How'd you fit that in your pants there, Sydney? Oh no, not again. God no. Wise to the old ways, the priests burnt night candles Uncovering secrets long, long lost in the fall. Quiet as mice, they devised a device, some, something to stop it for once and for all. Yeah, I've heard that before. What's up here? Speaking of looking to the skies. Nothing? Really? Alright. Whatever. Well, good chat, Lyril. Thanks. I'll see ya. I gotta go back to my sweet bat hang glider dealy now. If you don't mind. That was wackadoo. Anything else before we head out? Something on the uh... room doesn't have a whole lot going on without her here. Action sequence in here, meant to be. Yeah, she doesn't want to hang out.
Now you show up. What are we talking about now? It's back. That, what? That door is none of your business. <laughs> it's Leal's area. I do not know you. None but the. Don't be touching my giant rod. Is that what you're saying? I don't get it. I gave you all my shiny bits. I gave you my shells. A ruined earth is slow to heal, and people love to grow. But nature speaks. Wait. What? I know more. Well, quit talking in riddles. Let let me let me tell you about the priests, and perhaps. You can watch for them on your journey. On your later they disc. Set out in the ironclad ship. They should have returned by now. Yeah. Alright, I'm being being told to expect they something any Earth second. He's slow to heal and Alright, we certainly wait. It is my duty to protect protect the temple against That's intruders. That's cool. I'm not an intruder. I'm sorry. What? You, you cannot enter the inner chambers. I'm chill. I'm the shell man. The ma that room. That door. <laughs> that room. That room. That door. Ah, I don't think Birdman wants to. I think Birdman's still trying to open that door from like a year ago <laughs> that I locked. I didn't see this screen, son of a... Ah, man, it's so easy to miss stuff. Where is she now? She seems to come in here on her own way. Oh, she's so slow every time. All right, I, let's mess with this thing. Something. Oh, now he shows up when I'm messing with this. <laughs> it's like I just realized you locked me into that room earlier. Can you like... He has changed. One more Damn it, I clicked him. through it. Oh well. They can make a situation comedy about us. Yes, we know. Maybe in time I can repair him. I have the remote control. He can be a companion for me. Thank you for saving me. I could not have stopped him. But battle of the century. Myself. Oh, I feel bad. I guess I'll leave you up there. Yeah. Go. 
Chuck rocks at him. You feel bad? Let me down. You're a dick, Sydney. I trust you now. Nice. You may ascend or descend. Perhaps the tomb contains some of the answers you you seek. A ruined earth. Yeah, I'm not. Wait. No, we're, I'm good. All right, so I guess I can go back to her private chambers now. That room what? Is <laughs> Where the hell can I go? Lyril, does this take me upstairs now? Boxes of stuff. Man, I bet she'd love all this. Look at all this shiny stuff. Yeah, put that in your pants. And one of those. And one of those. It's like old school NES TNT or something. I don't know, from some game. 119. Here, listen to 11911. Home of all your weird laser dough. 22.01. Oh, look at that. Volcano in the distance. Oh. Just took a map off the wall. Oh my god. Hey, I have one of those. <laughs> That's exciting for me. I don't have one of those. I don't have a lot of this stuff. What's that for, I have to wonder. Okay. Is there anything else on? Guess not. <laughs> the man abusers. You're not interested in watching. So that's. Oh, hold on. More stuff from my pants. Some sort of motherboard. What is that? Get a nice up close look at that. I guess that's just as close as we can get. Man, there's so many things to touch and put in my pants. Got one of these things. I think we could just about build whatever this thing is. You know, this is connected to the to that thing. Oh, we're just moving them around. Got excited. Yeah. Just kind of... I don't... I mean, it's a nice shot. Just don't really know exactly what I'm looking for or at. goes toward something. Is this not how you like assemble stuff in your inventory? Like click it on the thing. It's a sweet volcano. Oh, that's where the dark being's hanging out. This is nice spooky Halloween music. do that. That on there. Alright, hold on. Hold this. Hold this thought. Yes! Alright, what else is there? No, that doesn't look right, but whatever. Um, so the, the phallic look at thing can go on the end of that. I guess not yet. <laughs> Slow down. <laughs> go. 
it's starting to look like that, like a thing now. Might be everything we could do right now. That kind of looks like one of the, uh, well, I don't have one with me, but I have them back in the inner dimension. The thing we used to power up the portal in the first place. Alright, so we can go upstairs, too. You are listening to War and Peace, narrated by Lyrol. <laughs> oh no! Oh, did you have to come up here? The wise and holy gathered here, machines of metal cast. They study that which came before to learn, to learn from errors past. The wise and holy gathered here. Okay. Er he has. I just. I can't. There's too many things to do there. Whoa! Alright. Talk about Phantom of the Opera. Look at this thing. Oh my god. I didn't think anything could be more complex than the uh, submarine, but I think we just found it. Good lord. What if this is just a whole room devoted to fidgeting and relaxing? It's just everything you can touch and pull and twist and dial. That's doing my head in. Bop it, pull it, power it. Jeez. You can interact with like everything ever. And this thing, oh, this is where I could put my dealie. No, well, maybe not. <laughs> it just kind of looked like it fit. It does match the, uh, Ideally. It's unnecessary. <laughs> Alright. Well. That's certainly something we can touch. Here's the mini bar. Because you gotta have a mini bar when you got to deal with this in the same room. Gotta have alcohol. It's the only way I could be tempted to even try to mess with that thing. This is where the priests got housed. So many different places to go here. Hold on. Oh, can't even. Oh, okay. Oh, that's just the. Never mind. The sun and wind. The sea and rain provide for all our needs. We plant Do they and reap teach you how to work that friggin' machine? And learn. This is a teleportation device, essentially, which we can use to head back to our world and, um, I think, essentially get this piece back on that, that damn puzzle cube, which was given us uh, all sorts of trouble, at least the slide po puzzle portion of it in that first episode. But uh, anyway, for right now, let's plug this thing in so we have power. And we have 
there's a lot going on here. All right, so we have power. This is on now. And this is the... This is where we decide which room we want to get transported to, or which area we want to get transported to. So, there's outside of the lighthouse, obviously. We can, I'm pretty sure, once you pick the overall room, you can choose, or the scene, you can choose the room. So this is the room with the, uh, the, the puzzle cube. So that's where we want to go, so we can lock that in right there. And now... Pull this. That's where the portal will be in time. This turns this... Oh, this opens this thing up. It's almost like I know what I'm doing. And... Here we go. And now we need to... Move these in such a way that they line up with the little green right here. The crosshairs. There it is. Then the last thing we need to do is wait for this to get into the red, and then we flip the switch, and that, uh... That will open the portal essentially Let's save while well, we got a minute here wow we got a minute i'm gonna keep with that stream of consciousness uh, for these save files now we just gotta wait i think we could throw this thing to make the speed up faster no that closes that okay <laughs> just so many uh switches and dials A lot of things to be pulling. So that's still moving. I don't think that screwed anything up irrevoc irrevocably. I think we can throw this thing to make this thing move faster. Alright, here we go. Wait for the red. There we go. Oops. Screwed that up. We don't want this to... Ah, we didn't want that to happen. That's why we just saved. All right, let's try it again. This just kind of adds a lot of juice to it. So this makes it go a little faster. Let me close this down. like that you've opened the uh, I don't know what that does yet <laughs> don't ask me about that I know that if the d d dark being is not stopped it will mean the end for our land of that much I am certain it may mean Danger for your land as well. You must. You must stop. S stop him. There is no, no, no one left who can save us. Farewell. All right, later. All right. So just like that, we are back in. Dr. Crick's study to finally finish off this damn puzzle cube. Uh, I think we need one more piece off of the wall here, though. Again, something I learned <laughs> when I was trying this, making sure I knew what was going on. So let's pop this into place. Pop these into place. And just like that, 
Uh, we have one more puzzle here. So this is... We need to line all these shapes up first. Did we get the click. Uh, circle. Circle. And then triangle. This is where we uh, use the shapes that we got earlier. It was such a long time ago that we did this, but that little strip came out and it had the shapes on it. And now we need to make... Um, it's like square, circle, triangle, cross. Square, triangle, circle, cross. Pull that thing out. Cross. Square. Triangle. Circle. That's the thing. Like, we didn't even, like, get... A... We could reload, but... Circle, triangle, square, cross would be the... Okay, so that's the last one. Dior, from the dark being, the new fragrance. Sweet. Finally, got whatever that is. Alright, so now we are done with that officially. So the portal's gone now, so we might have to use the... We might need to use our last tank now at this point, actually. To open the portal kind of the poor man's way out here. Do I have it in my inventory? I don't see it. We might need to go to the tank where we grabbed one earlier. I haven't done this in a while. Ah, uh, where is this? There she is. All right. That's the last one. I really hope. I think you can like lose the game if if you uh, screw this up. I kind of wasted one earlier before I knew what I was doing. So I really hope we're not going to get into a situation where we're just stuck. So we'll swap this out. Put a freshie in. Back down the hatch. Yeah, no pressure. And I guess at this point, just run the, the program again. Pretty funny. So this should be good. All right. Portal open one last time. Last time at Crix. Pretty descriptive. In we go. As I understand it, you only get four minutes with the portal open, so... It's hot. It doesn't really affect us here, but... If there was, like, something that we knew that we needed... Or if we found something quickly and then headed back to Crix Laboratoire... I don't know, I'm babbling, it doesn't make sense. So now, now I don't know what I'm doing again. This is about as far as I got. Just wanted to make sure that we could figure out that uh, 
that first area without issue. Is Birdman still hanging around? I miss that guy. Oh, stuff that looks like you can pick it up, but you can't. The, uh, we still have the remote control for this thing. Ladder. Oh, don't. Don't attack. There we go. I forget what was up here. Alright, this is where we uh, went off on our, our fun little Shining Time Station adventure in the last episode. Oh, and this is all the way up with the birds. Okay, I'm not going to sweat the birds. Let's head back down the hatch. Where was the submarine? I remember running into that somehow. I'm not sure if there wasn't anything I needed from this table. I'm sure I grabbed everything by now from this area. Back down. It's my main complaint. It's never knowing where to click to get off the screen or to get to where I want to go. Is there like a cutaway to the right? There it is. This is where the submarine is. So many saves. Use the crane controls to move this thing. These things don't want to move. They're all rusted. <laughs> yes, I need a dog to drag me straight to Dr. Crick in this game. Police Quest 4 style. Oh, come on! Whatever. That's... Kind of frustrating. Well, this one doesn't seem to want to move at all. It likes it likes this. I think I can move this, so yeah. Glad I'm using this now. There we go. It just knows to disengage. little weight cake.
Things are happening, though. Guess I should have turned that again to stop it. Oh, no, that was good. <laughs> Stupid submarine. Oh, my God. All right. I'm staying on this, though. When we're moving, we can put those down. Seems like we're, seems like we're moving. Maybe we're not. Maybe we need. Sixty-seven hundred eighteen ninety-six. my own. There we go. One eighteen pieces. There we go. Alright. Set it. Oh, we saw the coordinates for the uh, the other thing on that way. Oh, come on. So those should still be in there, right? Nice, nice, nice. All right, so we can also put in... We saw this when we were hanging out with uh, Lyril. Put these in now. That gives us another location. Excellent. All right, progress. to go. Okay, 
Yes! Finally! We have a destination. And we're going there. We're going to with whatever the uh, the chart that we found is sending us to, whatever coordinates were on that. sub just exploded. I just want some guy that like built the sub or just someone from this long dead race to come down and be like, holy crap, congratulations, haven't you figured that out? We designed this to be as obtuse as possible. Because we don't like people messing with our stuff. sort of wreck at the bottom of the sea. I like our submarine's little <laughs> little tail. Little dolphin. Should I just assume that we docked safely and if I open this hatch, a bunch of water's not gonna come in and kill me? Soon. All right, so I just ran all this so I would know what I was doing here uh, because hey who wants a 10-hour video? So first thing we got to do is close the hatch and then we can Detach with this one here And now we need to affect our depth with this little dial or uh, lever right there So help us drop down Now we can move around this left and right and straight ahead. And go in. times we had to turn here because there's a bunch of set uh, locations where you can maneuver. Kind of reminds me of Blade Runner, the, uh, the PC game around the same time. It was the late 90s, I guess, where you were kind of looking at the uh, different security footage. Now we should be right over top of this thing. So now we can head back over to this and drop ourselves down. To get into the wreck. Alright. So now we can shoot over here. Twice. Now we can use our handy dandy, uh, here we go, this thing down, and got to find the right spot. Thankfully this little light lets us know when we're in the right spot. There we go, we should be able to detach this now. There we go. Alright, so I think that's all we need to do down here. back up through the murky water shift back over this away a couple times we want to enter the wreck from a different angle now different section of it from 
right here. I think we could just head straight in a couple times. No, I think it's on the opposite side, actually, behind us. Now we can head inside. All right, so now we're in the wreck. Rise up just a little bit to see what we got above us here. And turn around. Here we go. And there's already something we can do. We can knock something out of the way. Jamming us up. Now we should be able to do this. Get the hook. Pick them up. Lay that down. Move that out of the way. There we go. Just head towards this. We gotta find the right spot. There we go. Beautiful. Wanna automatically grab that for me? Give me something. I guess we're already here. Whew. Satisfying. Frustrating but satisfying. So we'll head back to our main our main sub now. Yeah, that's quite frustrating if you don't know what you're doing. A lot of time just flounder about. Yeah, pun intended. So head back up inside now. Alright. Now let's head back. Check out our, uh... Let me dial in the next coordinates, actually. I guess I gotta start the engine again before we can go. Not gonna win any design awards, this sub. Alright, so off we go to our next destination. This is, this is the middle point on the map. The murkiness. All right, there we go. It's like a castle or design from Magic Carpet or something. Perfect size. Yeah, gotta run that engine every time we want to go in the back. All right, let's do a new save. Uh, island, let's just call this. It's been a while since we've been out of this thing. It'd be nice to get some fresh air. There's that uh, boat sound from Quisigori uh, 5, Andre's boat. Or when we were, I guess, going around in the uh, the airship that we made. Hmm. Looks like they got a bite. Sweet. Poor fish. Oh man. <laughs> it's worse inventories you could be in, little fish.
I didn't want to go up there. I just wanted some fresh air. things working. Whatever that's doing. A lot to take in here. Windmill dungeon. Yeah, take one of those. Something's going on outside the window. There's the dark Bing. Teasing that guy with a fish. I have a fish. Oh. What a douche. It's mean. Alright, speaking of my fish. Up the ladder we go. Through here. Another ladder here. We head up. We can put our fish on the hook here. Poor little fish. Wriggling about. not the door we came in. There we go. Very easy to get turned around in there. And let's see if Dark Bing is still tormenting that creature out the window. Oh, he's just sitting there with back pain now. Poor creature. What's he doing now? Now he's gone. Okay. Oh, the music is indicating that he's not. So we need him to be in this tower to give ourselves enough time because if we try... Putting down the planks to cross here before that, then... He's gonna smash those up. Speaking of planks, Rosella wishes she had these in King's Quest IV. All right, got some wood. Got some more wood. Got some wood working in here. Need eight of these. That should be it. It's just a nice little workshop right here. All your woodworking needs. Oh, there he goes. Slowly making his way to that tower. That should buy us enough time when he's in there. It's very annoying. If you try putting down the planks in this one area, when he's not in this particular tower, he will come down very quickly and smash them and say no. And you have to do it all over again. I gotta wait till he disappears. There we go. Like he has his own little score. Bum, 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 bum. Here we go. And then fortify them. Look at that. Makeshift bridge. So now we're in some sort of forge. Definitely don't mind carrying those around in my pants. 
Nothing annoying about that. <laughs> Alright, so we can do some smelting. He must be close, judging by the music. Can in here. Load said cannon. Cannonball. Go. Something to light. And I think that goes in. And that. So we'll have this all good and ready. Oh, there he is! He's going for our fish! Dark being screwed him out of a fish earlier. Wet his appetite. Let's take a look through the... Unnecessary. Oh, he's so cute! And we're about to... Explode him halfway across whatever this world is. Grog try! Alright. Well. Have a nice flight. That's all I can say. It's very satisfying. <laughs> Alright, so now we can go up there because he was blocking the door earlier. Shibby. going on in this workshop. I think it's mostly if you didn't go to see uh, Lyril yet, or whatever her name is. Because... And where is the... Uh, now we can head back up here. Without worrying about the monster stopping us. We get our fish back? Nope. That's your fate, just to flop here until you die. I kind of envy you, fish. The submarine controls are very complicated. Alright, so normally he would be right there guarding, but he's not since we destroyed him. Let's go ahead here. So there's another one of those flying machines, so I think we... We can get this thing up and running if we uh, had not yet already visited that uh, particular area that we flew to before. What we want is this key. So we have the key now. And this door. It doesn't make sense the orientation of where that door was, but I'll accept it. And now, if you see the arrow there, it's kind of hard to miss. Or easy to miss, I should say. There we go. That's what we wanted. That thing go as part of our our dealie that we're working on. I don't know what we're working on. Alright, it's fine. We have it. We have whatever that is. It's fine. Alright. Let's get out of here. Let's see if I can actually pilot this submarine to, I guess, the final area. Possibly. It's the final like location on our map that we have coordinates for that we have not checked out yet. Um Alright, so key in the ignition. Engine's on, but I need to start them manually. Give it the old choo -choo. Not sure what that sound was. Alright, so after this gonna be a lot shakier, but you know, a good start. So now we're headed north. Key in the uh, destination there. I think this is where the dark being's hanging out. There we go. Simple as.
earn this cutscene. Into the murky. Just the murky. Ooh. Cool. Volcano with like a little water tunnel here for us to enter. things we're gonna have to fix. That's all I see when I come in here. Most people be like, oh wow, look at all this interesting stuff. And I'm like, yeah, all the broken stuff we're gonna have to figure out how to fix. All right. Good work, little submarine. Did a hell of a job. Be nice to... Back on dry land. There he is. In the little dance party up there. <laughs> Hi, Dark Bing. Where are you going? Okay. Schmatter. Need a key or something to snap that lock. We got a train with a chain. Train with a chain. Ask and you shall receive. Oh, okay, yeah. And some TNT from the looks of it. Nice. Love some dynamite. Anything else? They're like, you'll need it later. You don't need it right now. We've played this before. Snappy, snappy. Awesome. Guess we gotta go via train. I will not complain. Which we can flip. Power! Let there be lights. Sweet! Love me a train. Because it's very linear. We know where we're going. Side view and back in the train. All right, what do we got here? Crank it. Nice. All right. Anything else around here? Crank to go back down, I guess. All right, forward. Like a break. Guess we can stop anytime we want. That's handy. Backwards. Oh, I cut the power there. Yeah, can we back up? There we go. Hold up. What was that light? That was lit up for a second. Yeah. Never mind. What did that do? Oh my god. That switched tracks on us. Okay. Handy. Good to know. So that flipped us right there. Interesting.
So if we don't hit it, all right, so it goes back normally. Oh, I can get out here. Uh, for what purpose? There's our tools again. Now they're like, you'll need these. It's fine. What else we got? Got that dealy. Doctor hat for this part. There's the, uh, I guess this is for switching. But I was able to do that. Oh, we have the uh, hex bar or whatever. If we turn that. Wrench it. Sweet. Alright. Back into the train we go. So now, all right, so that changed it for us. And ram it. Oh, why not? Dynamite? I think it's time. Oh, there's no get out icon. All right, back up. Another one we can probably switch. No? Uh, please don't do whatever you're about to do. That is a happy creature. <laughs> He's so happy. He's like, I'm going to butch this train up royally. No dark being. Oh, that's so you. I ram him. Hell yeah, use the drill. We get a drill on this thing, why are we even stopping? Let's start this thing up. Where's the uh, drill controls? Are they in here? I think. Yeah, why isn't this thing just going? It's like, literally, you put the one thing that I can, <laughs> that the train is designed to take out and clear the way, but, uh, yeah, what's going on here? What's going on? <laughs> oh, I put the dynamite down. Nice. Okay. That worked out. Didn't see that. Uh, we should probably leave though, right? Oh, okay, that worked out. It's a very localized explosion. Suck on that, Dark Bing. Oh wait, we just kind of run out of tracks right here. What's the point of that? I can't even get out here or anything. All right. Whatever. Let's backtrack, I guess. Have to figure out something there. Uh, should we like center this thing before we try moving? How's that? We like right in the middle? I don't want to go back down. Ah, uh, here we go. Am I 
like, not centered enough. Oh, nice. Cool. Alright, I don't know how... Wait, where are we? Wait a minute. That's the baby. You work here? What? It's a living. What are you doing, baby? I've been looking all over for you. Baby. What's that baby doing here? Just crushing rocks? Shouldn't she have like a hard hat on or something? You're in a little cage. What does that do? If one of these isn't the baby killing button. Uh, can I go through with the rocks? There's a lot going on here. You ever see a lot of, uh, whatever this is going on? Baby? What are we? <laughs> this is so strange. Oh, there we go. Yeah, turn that. Does the dark being change your diapers? I don't know what these things do. And the whistle blows, baby grabs their jacket. Quitting time, going down to the bar. You coming, DB? Dark Bing. Uh, well, this, uh. I don't know if that did what I wanted it to. Seems like that did something, but but I don't know what. Cold beer and a cigar after work. That's right. Got black lung. Well, let's hope that did something. Yeah, the baby seems fine. I don't know if her dad's cool with uh, her getting the black lung and all that, but... Yeah. Alright, let's turn this thing. Give her a revolution. And then see where this puts us. I think there's like another gate somewhere that I forgot about. Hard worker that baby is. That baby's all right, man. I was fighting with my wife. She was threatening to leave me. Baby told me the right things to say. Damn it, if she and I aren't about to celebrate our 15th wedding anniversary. Baby's there at the pub. And they're like, baby, don't you think you've, uh, you've had enough? <laughs> All right. All right, rode around long enough and found this. So we can actually open the door here and hop on out. So let's see what we got. Let's 
tracker and everything. In the same direction. Is that a map? <laughs> That's handy. Anyway, let's see what we got here. Lava. Yeah. Passes the volcano test. It's odd. That's the, uh, so that fell down. Did we grab it with something? What else have we got? Uh, umbrella? There you go, hook it. Sweet. That didn't like actually take. Oh, can I latch it? Okay, there we go. Sweet. All right. Uh. There's that thing. Do it now. That seems like a bad idea. Is this gonna drop us into the lava? We test this thing first? Where's Amanda? Where's that baby? Oh, nice. Okay. That's fun. Might regret this. Like, oh yeah, that's that's just the that's just for show. It's a prototype. Yeah, we want to be able to go in the lava someday, but... So we're not actually in the lava. Anything else going on down here? Oh, wow. Here we go. that open this thing up. Is that enough? I need a bit more. Can just grab it? That would be great if you just grab it. Oh, that thing kind of lit up a little bit. Nice. Alright. Made us work for that one. Jeez. figure out how to get back to her. The 
rock still working? All right, yeah, you're doing okay. Let's see, now that I did that, Pick up one of these rocks. It's all about the timing, I suppose. Let's sync this up, Amanda. Work with me, Amanda. Close. There we go. For whatever that's worth. Okay. the lava she goes all right i don't know she just seems happy in general whether she's on the line with all the other workers or just rolling away down to a big old pool of lava pool of lava Careful. <laughs> Don't move. Just added a baby to our inventory. Why not? Had a fish in there earlier. Okay. Uh, Alright. What a strange game. I'm sure I've said that before, but still.
see. Which way? Nope. Hold on. I want to take that other turn. Actually, I have some vague idea of where I am for once. Back here. You know how to do this one, uh, Amanda? Let's see, let's see. Oh, we do have a hook. Um, yeah, maybe we want to come in the other way. To turn around somehow. I think it should take us back to the, uh, the switcher, back to the circle. All right, excellent. So let's see. So we want to stay like this, we just want to turn around. So let's hit this twice. up and we should be good. Let's back up. And I guess be ready to hit this switch again. And then the hook should be able to drop the the bridge. There we go off to the left here, or the right I guess in this case. Don't like it when it sounds like, you know, you're about to get that blue screen of death every time uh, backs into it. But anyway, alright, so now we have our hook. Let's see if we can actually... There we go. Brilliant. That's not good. Permanently trapped in the parallel world. <laughs> you look like a hermit on fish and seaweed. You failed in your mission. That's an ending? What about all the other times I screwed up? <laughs> you suck! That's stupid. Good thing we just saved. So we'll stop this time. And just see what we got with our surroundings here. Can I just get out of the train? Kind of walk for once? Is that frowned upon? By the dark? Yeah. We like fix this? Just kind of ting ting right there. So we've got a couple rocks. Got any more tools on this thing? Dynamite, for what it's worth. Okay. We got that piece now. Can we, like, straighten this thing out? Well, I don't know where it went. Okay. Alright. So I guess... We'll take this piece. That's what we, we were trying to do. And just 
drop it right on here. I need to like hammer it down. I feel like I don't want to get trapped here for eternity eating fish because of some technicality. Technoschema. Let's do it. Start this puppy up. End of the line, eh? Finally! I was gonna say, that's what the damn thing's for. Damn, didn't know you could do all that? It's like already perfectly cut out. Awesome. Where he was dancing around like an idiot earlier. Uh, is this part of it? Close that thing down. All right. Let's kill everything. We happy? Yeah. Let's destroy everything ever. I just want to shoot the dark being in the face for making me go through all this at this point. Please save at this point. Gun. Alright. I don't think she should be that close to the, uh, the gun that could kill the universe. Actually, she should, probably shouldn't be in this inventory like with... It's just riddled my inventory with things to kill babies. We have lighters and hammers, and uh, well, that's pretty much it. Here, have some milk. Uh, or not, whatever. Let's go deeper into my pocket. Alright, I think it's finally coming to an end, gang. Shoot the crap out of you, Dark Bing, and your stupid little dance. What do you got a gun to? Good for you. Die. What? It's like a super. What's it even doing? Is it Ghostbusters? What? Like Slimer? That was it? Okay. Where's the, the professor? Is he around? The doctor guy? Oh, here he is. Oh, nice. He's still here. What's up, man? I found your baby. Do you want... Oh, look! A little, uh... All day... All day, uh... Dark being. Bestseller for the holidays. Here you go. Here's your baby. Not cut out for this. Please be alive. I can't raise this child. Let's see here. I figured out everything else in this game. How hard could this be? <laughs> I guess this is how the alien got back and forth to our world. Doesn't seem as complex as the one that we have, but then again, it's not working for me. Treasure chest. Smag it. Actually, let's just blow it up. Where's the dynamite I took with me? Where is the dynamite? dynamite right now. Are you in my pants? What's going on? No dynamite there.
There we go. Alright. I feel like one of these is gonna kill him. Pulse! I just fry him? What did that do? Oh no. <laughs> My bad, Crick. My bad. Hold on. Oh! Okay, hold on. Let's set this to not torture. Where's. Is it just torture? Can I go to the top there? Let's try swapping these out. There we go, the feel good. This will bring it back. Uh, uh, I, uh, okay, he's not dead. Here we go. Here we go, this, this should fix it. Oh, oh no, so, I'm sorry, Crick. He's still alive though, unaccountably. I mean, at this point, we're just... <laughs> I don't, uh... Oh, okay. Are you dead? Oh, you're alive! You're all, like, claymation-looking. Yeah, sorry about all that. I, uh... I'm a writer? <laughs> it's a miracle I hear. It's your baby. Oh, oh. My head... Where am I? It's been a while since I've heard someone actually talk. Here. Aww. It's adorable. Do you want the dark being? Is the milk for the baby? Oh. My head. Where am I? I know we can destroy this place. We can make a time bomb. Let's see. Dynamite plus, so we gotta like attach something to it. Oh, uh, the circuit board. There we go, just like that. All the wires and everything too. And then, uh, oh, the alarm clock. There we go. Classic. <laughs> give you an hour, that seems unnecessary. Okay. So I have an hour to figure out how this comparatively very simple machine works. Something like that. Uh... Work? We had some indication. Crick, are you like, are you okay? Because this is more your field than mine. Mm -hmm. uh. We, uh, I was kind of joking. Thinking an hour would be plenty of time, but can you like help me out? So that's like the gentle like bring you out of it. <laughs> Just lean back. It really seems like it's all right here. And he's got oh he's got one of those things. That's good. I certainly don't have any more. All right, so this says. Alright, turn this wheel three times. One, two, three. Turn this. Turn this. Turn this five times. Three, four, five. And then hit this. Okay. 
done. Coming, Crick. You like to stand up? What are you doing? We already with the dark, but I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Did that? Did that do it? Oh wow, that worked. <laughs> I tried that earlier. I feel dizzy. Oh, you got 55 minutes to uh, get it. Well, I don't know how long the portal is going to be open. Where are my blueprints? Real nice. Man who's got his priorities in order. I give you back your child. I need my blueprints. Thought he'd look older. I don't know why. Is that how you enter? The I've just been walking through. Gingerly stepping in. Alright, let's take one last look, gang. <sighs> Lighthouse, the dark being. Alright, let's get out of here. Sweet. Suck on that, Lyril. Oh, wait, Lyril. Forgot about her. Oh, well. Nice. Him as a paperweight on our desk. Just to remind ourselves how tedious everything in this game was. Still, nice music. Anything else? Are we gonna have a party? What are we gonna do? Order a pizza? That's nice. What happened to Mrs. Crick, by the way? Did we talk about that? Did she die? I forget. Seems like a lifetime ago. Should I leave? Seems like you guys are having a nice moment. Oh. Thank you for saving us. I couldn't have defeated the Dark Being without your help. Yeah? I will be more careful in the future. My experiments have risked the life of my only daughter. Damn right. Please, don't tell anyone. They would think you were mad, I know. <laughs> the Dark Being should never be set free. It tortured me to get my calculations, but I didn't tell it anything. Throw the bottle into the sea. I will destroy my notes. The world will be a better place. Throw the dark being in its little bottle into the sea? Then some random guy in Japan's gonna pick it up and unleash the dark being. Why don't we just throw it in the fire? You should go now. <laughs> Amanda needs some rest. Thank you again. Now, I'm gonna hang out here awkwardly and keep clicking on you. You should go now. Ah, okay. Amanda needs some rest. Thank you again. Hmm. Cash would be nice, but all right. <laughs> so cute, though. Give me our little pet. Weird. What a strange game. There you have it. Sierra's answer to Mist. Some very frustrating puzzles, and I can only apologize. for how long it took me on some of those. There you go. 
Good times. Thanks everybody for watching this one. I did enjoy playing. I enjoyed beating it. I'll say that ultimately. Some great puzzles in this one. But anyway, yeah. Please uh, subscribe if you haven't. I never say that. But uh, yeah, if you don't mind, help me out. Click on that like button. Leave a comment. <laughs> All that fun stuff. More importantly, we'll see you next time for more fun, fun times right here on Let's Play with the Brigands. Hope to see you then. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and comment on this video, and click subscribe if you haven't already, as this seriously helps me to keep making great content for you. And check the description of this video to see what song is playing right now.